Hello everybody. So today we have a brand new recipe. It is all about popsicles because it's that time of year where everything is heating up and you need something to kind of cool yourself down. This is a three ingredient vegetarian fruit popsicle. So we're making peach fruit popsicles today. They're super easy. Take a 10 ounce bag of frozen peaches. You can actually use any type of frozen fruit that you want, that your little taste buds desire because that's how simple this recipe is. Then we are going to take a 13 ounce can of full fat coconut milk. You can use any type of non-dairy milk you want. Oh, I love creamy things. It's so good. This is gonna make it super rich too. You know, popsicles need to be creamy, that kind of ice cream sensation. And that's what I like. So this is what we're making today because I love me some peaches and cream. Two tablespoons of honey, put that in, or sweetener of choice. There, cover those peaches, baby, cover them with that sweet nectar of the bees. I love it, peaches, cream, and sweet nectar. <laughs> How much better can you get? So we're gonna take those three ingredients and we are gonna blend it up until it is smooth and creamy. So just put it on whip maybe, blend and then maybe whip, I don't know. Just put it on high until it runs smooth. There we go. We are ready to fill our popsicle molds. Oh yeah, I love popsicles. I love to suck on them, I love to lick on them. And when they are creamy goodness, that makes it even better. Here we have our popsicle mix already. Now I actually have had this just drinkable and it's really good too. So, you know, it's kind of like a little bit of a smoothie. So just fill your popsicle molds. Fill them up, fill them up, fill them up, fill them up. Oh yeah, oh, that looks so good. Now, if I can get these other molds. I have a couple different types of molds. Cause you know some days call for a different type of popsicle, right? This is really frosty and chunky. Ooh, that's really good. Got a spill. Mmm. Mm. Mmm, okay. Took care of that problem, didn't we? Now we got two more mil molds to fill. Milds, molds, whatever. You get my drift. Oh, I may have gotten that one a little too full. Oh, well, we'll put the lids on and see how it goes. What do you say? We may have more lickableness to do. Now we just pop them in the freezer. I think it takes about three hours or so. Now, I always keep mine overnight. I do them the night before so that I make sure that they're really good and frozen because I want that coolness on the hot summer day when I reach into the freezer and grab that popsicle out and go, ah, you are my refreshing getaway for that summer coolness. That's what these are. I told you there's always lickable goodness around the corner. Mmm. Ooh. Now if your fruit's a little tangy, of course you can add a little bit more sweetener to it. Where did my spatula go? Here we go. Alright. Smooth this out, make sure it's really nice and even. Just like that. Mm. There's a lot of licking going on in this one. Mmm, mmm, that peach is so good. Okay, we need to get these in the freezer. Mm. Mm. So, put the lid on this popsicle mold. There we go, perfect. And now it is time to stick them into the freezer so that they can brrrr, chill. 
I'm lucky for you. I had a stash in the freezer already, so we didn't have to wait overnight for them, but they are ready. I love popsicles in the summertime. Here is the popsicle. Doesn't it look scrumptious? It is cool and refreshing and it is super, super tasty. I love mixing out the fruit that I use for this. Like cherries is really good or mango. If you want something a little tropical, I love. Mango is probably my next favorite. Mmm. Oh my gosh. These are scrumptious. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That is the standing up happy dance because it is that good. You are gonna love these cool and super simple treats and they're perfect for big and little kids too. So share them with buddies, all right? Mmm. Mmm. I love you.